Hello there. Just a week ago, we were basking in temperatures of 29.4 Celsius, the warmest April day in 70 years. To end April, though, it is looking rather chilly for the time of year, and we've got some rain around too. Now, during Friday, the rain comes from this area of low pressure approaching from the southwest. That's going to be spreading cloud and patchy outbreaks of rain across much of England and Wales, moving its way from west to east. The heaviest of the rain for South Wales and the southwest of England. Cool and breezy here. But for the far north of England, for Scotland and for Northern Ireland, a day of sunny spells and a few scattered showers. But it will feel quite cool. Temperatures of just 8 or 9 degrees with the cloud and the rain. One or two areas getting up to 12 or 13 Celsius. But how is the weekend shaping up? Well, it is that mix of sunshine and showers, a fairly cool breeze around, some heavy rain in the southeast later in the weekend. But for Saturday, still quite cloudy across England and Wales, particularly towards the east with the remnants of a little patchy rain here. Sunshine and a few scattered showers further north and west. But again, temperatures are going to struggle at around about 9 to 13 degrees. So through the weekend, if we look at the jet stream, we've got this big kink, this trough in the jet stream, which is sitting across Portugal and Spain. That will be pushing slightly milder air into the far southeast, but it will also be bringing a developing area of low pressure. So heading through the latter half of the weekend, particularly later on Sunday, an area of developing low pressure moves in from Spain up across France, towards the southeast of the UK. So although for much of Sunday we should have a largely dry if somewhat cloudy day, later in the day there will be outbreaks of rain heading in initially to the southeast of England and East Anglia will move its way further northwards. But elsewhere actually not a bad day, a few sunny spells particularly towards the northwest, but still though quite cool for the time of year. But let's take a look at that area of low pressure. Sunday night into Monday it moves in across southeast England, East Anglia, up towards the northeast of England too. So I think Monday, a rather disappointing day for many eastern parts of England, not just some heavy rainfall that could cause some flooding problems, but also some really strong and gusty chilly winds too. Disappointing here, away from southern and eastern parts, though it is looking that little bit brighter. But temperatures just around 9 to 12 degrees. Looking ahead into the early part of May now, and we've still got an area of low pressure in the east, but it does look like it eases away. A ridge of higher pressure in charge for Tuesday, so quite a bit of dry, settled weather on Tuesday. The next front, though, waiting in the wings, moving into Northern Ireland and the west of Scotland later in the day. But a much improved day for central and southeastern parts of England on Tuesday, with temperatures returning to something a little more typical of the time of year. So through the middle of next week, there will be a little rain moving from northwest towards the southeast, followed by sunshine and showers, and those temperatures will be on the rise gradually. Now let's look at a couple of different weather forecasting computer models. This is the European model, which shows a big area of high pressure sitting right across the UK to end next week, bringing quite a lot of dry and pretty warm weather too. So quite an optimistic computer model, this one. Another cute computer model, the American GFS model, still shows high pressure, but this time it's sitting across central parts of Europe with lower pressure, then moving in from the Atlantic towards the northwest of the UK. More isobars on the map, a windier and a more unsettled spell likely, particularly towards the northwest. I'll update you once again tomorrow.